There's something not a lot of job seekers are doing that is huge and the job market is becoming so competitive and if you're watching this video when it got out you know that we're living in tough times for people looking for jobs but there are still people striving. Why? Because these people do things differently. Take the example of Nina who caught the attention of Airbnb CEO and got a job there. How? Just because of her resume website. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do the same to get your dream job. So let's jump on the computer and start this video. So I will put different timestamps here if you want to jump right in the part where I show you exactly how you can create a resume website. But before going technical, why does having a resume website help you get a job? And among many reasons you can read online, like it helps your personal branding, you establish your online presence, you can customize it as you wish compared to a LinkedIn profile. I think the most powerful reason why you should have a resume website is that you can show off your value instead of just saying it on a resume or on your LinkedIn profile. So if you're in a creative field like media, marketing or design, you can show off your portfolio or past uh, examples of your work pretty easily. So for example, if your resume says that you ran tons of marketing campaigns that increased sales of your product by 55%, well, you can showcase your whole marketing strategy with graphs, illustrations and reports on your website. But wait, what if you studied something non-creative like business, law or arts? I personally believe that even these people, including myself, can benefit from having a personal website. Many skills like presentation skills, Excel, and others can be shown pretty easily visually. If we go back to Nina's website, she decided to analyze Airbnb's business and showcase how her skills and experience could benefit Airbnb. And that's what got her the job. So creating a website just for one company is the uh, perfect solution because it is highly personalized to this business. But let's say you just want to get started and create a general website just to showcase your value as an individual. So I thought about it and I thought about like creating a website for myself like right now. But I know many of you guys watching this video are still in university or just graduated and don't have a lot of experience. So I will create a resume website right now as if I just graduated. And if we don't know each other. My name is Maddie Caffey and I studied management information systems uh, at McGill University in Montreal, Canada and I graduated uh, two years ago. Now the only question remaining is how can you create a resume website? Do you need to code? Do you need to watch hours of tutorials online to get started? Well no, thanks to our video sponsor Wix. Whether you're a student or a professional, if you're looking to create any website, and in our case, a resume website, Wix has you covered. With their hundreds of templates, drag and drop options, making a website has become something anyone could do. And no need to be an expert. I'm, I'm not an expert uh, or waste your time watching like hours of tutorial. The platform is super user friendly and has more options than you can imagine. Now a short notice before starting, this is not a video about how to make a resume. It's really about how to craft a different sections that show showcase your value to employers. So if you need help on what to write on your resume or how to write your resume, I have a complete guide down below in the description that you can download for free to help you out. So let's start. So after creating your account and confirming your email, you can start building your website, which has tons of pre-made templates that you can use for various purposes. But what I did is go in the portfolio CV section where I found this template that I liked very much. So let's start with our header. Wix has many sections that they call strips. So the first strip is our header and to change the background, you simply click on that change strip background where you can choose different colors if you're into that. I personally prefer a photo so that people landing on my page see me right away, which helps my personal brand. And then don't forget your tagline, simply write what describes you the most while adding relevant keywords, just like your LinkedIn headline. I will add a social media account so that people can reach me easily. Wix gives you many options, whether it's your Instagram, if you have a portfolio or professional content there, same for Facebook or YouTube. But at that time, when I graduated, I didn't have primal career so I will simply put my LinkedIn link. Now let's add a summary to our resume website to showcase our value, especially for the job that you want. So personally, I wanted to become a consultant. So based on my relevant research uh, on Google on uh, how to become a consultant and what skills do you need uh, to become a consultant, I chose three skills that I already had. Uh, back then. So that was travel experience, presentation skills, and entrepreneurship. To add a new section, simply click on the plus button and under container, you can choose any new section. So I chose a simple white one to create whatever I want and have creative freedom. 
So now my favorite part about Wix, the grid section. Instead of wasting your time creating your own tables and settings, you can just drag and drop pre-made tables just like this one. And obviously you can change the colors, the font, the layout, and it's 100% customizable. So I'm adding pictures as you see and proofs of my work again to show HR managers rather than just writing in. Again, show, don't tell. And that's the advantage of having a personal website rather than a LinkedIn profile. Showing pictures, showing proof of your work is so much powerful than just saying it out loud. For example, in my presentation skills section, I even attached one of the presentations that I made. Well, it's not a real one because I didn't have the time to remove confidential data, but you get the idea. So let's move on to our education section. So there you can add any relevant awards that you had or your GPA if it's like super good. You can even add relevant links about your awards. For example, I know many of you have case competition experience. So, and that's something that is well documented uh, on websites, on your university's website. So you can, you can always add links to that. For myself, I didn't have any of that. So I will be super simple, including my degree and my international exchange program. So again, I'm using another pre-made grid that saved me so much time and simply removed the section I didn't need, as well as adjust the colors. Now my favorite section, experience. I just love this section because the template I'm using has a nice animation and shows a mountain representing like if I'm climbing the mountain meaning I'm getting more and more experience throughout the year and you see with Wix you can get creative and put whatever image you want in the background just make sure it is non copyrighted and then you can add shapes and other elements to make it super personal next is the section that I think you can add the most images videos or links and that is the extracurriculars and your projects so add pictures of you working, volunteering, maybe your uh, side hobbies that you, that you have. Take advantage of this space because this is where you can actually prove what you're saying. Let's add another grid and add it again. So this skill section is more relevant for people having technical skills because let's face it, Microsoft Word isn't really a skill. So if you have any, make sure you include them. So thanks to this template, again, I have a nice animated bars to show my level of skills. And finally, I will add an interest section. This is the only section where you can tie bonds with your reader without even talking to them. And so by sharing your passion or what drives you, you tell a lot about you and your personality. And who knows, maybe the HR manager is also a Real Madrid fan like myself. So that would be a conversation subject we would have if they call me for an interview. Last section is the call to action. What do you want people reading your site to do? In many cases, you would want them to contact you, so you have to tell them. Wix gives you a range of options of pre-made contact grids, so just choose one that you can customize as you wish. I added another LinkedIn button, as well as a form that will send all emails to my private inbox. And that's it, it legit took me like an hour and a half to make that website. And for the value that this website will give you, it's totally worth it. So thanks again to Wix uh, for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in making your own website, then click on that first link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to Primal Career. Just click the red button uh, below this video. Tell me, do you have a personal website? If so, then put a link in the description. I'd like to see it and maybe uh, get inspiration for other people. And if you don't have one, well, what are you waiting for? I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.